Hi, I am Denfermo, and in this video I'm going to show you how I did the energy effect on my drop field commander ships using an airbrush. I decided to, to get into drop field commander when I saw the, the different factions on the table, and I love the UCM ships, I really like those. But when I saw the PHR ones, I really fell in love with them and I decided that that's going to be my faction. When I saw those ships, they struck me immediately to the Protoss of StarCraft. That, that species had these uh, sleek and long ships, uh, very smooth curves on the hulls, and, and they were gold. So then I decided that I was going to paint my PHR ships in gold precisely because of the Protoss. Even before I got into the Drop Fleet Commander lore, if you haven't seen my videos about the, that, check on the, the, in, in the link above. I, I got the idea that these species were an advanced and high-tech uh, race, no? This kind of ships and the hulls and the weapons they had, they have to be of, of an advanced species, no? And so those kind of ships surely had some things like energy shields and stuff like that. So I decided to have an effect of energy on the ship, like a shield, no? Not on all the ship, I just wanted a detail to, to make an, an eye catch in, in all the gold of the surface. I have seen this technique somewhere of using a mesh or a net as a stencil, so I decided to give it a try on my ships and on the gold scheme I was going to use. So I grabbed my airbrush and went for it. Well, here I am in my workshop. Like I said before, my color scheme was based in gold for the, for the entire ship. So I first apply a layer of extreme metal gold from AK Interactive. It's a very smooth, covers very well, and I really love the finish. It's a very shiny gold. So I apply it over all the, the parts of the ship that are going to be gold and leave it to dry. Once the gold has dried, I apply a small amount of Vallejo Model Air Light Blue only on the front top of the ship. I only want to cover this area, front of the ship, so I apply a spot of blue on top of it. Once the blue paint has dried, I grab this small mesh. It's like a kind of a cloth they sell in craft stores or a laundry bag that this has that has this kind of small pattern that you can use as a stencil. So I grab a small piece and I cover the area that has the, the blue paint that's going to be the effect. In this case in particular, it's kind of hard since the ship is curved, but in a flat surface like a panel of a, a ship or a big ship or something like that, it's not going to be much of a trouble. But in this case, I have to paint one half to hold it well and then the other. The point is to hold this net or mesh or whatever kind of material you're using for a stencil perfectly over the surface because when you apply the paint with the airbrush since the mesh or the this cloth is so tiny the paint is going to go under it so you have to hold it perfectly over the, the surface and apply it in a 90 degree angle. If you apply it over or below that angle, it's going to go under the, the mesh, likewise, and the effect is not going to show much. So I apply the paint in one side, then turn it over, hold it very close again, and cover it again with gold. And once I remove the mesh, the effect shows up. There is this kind of energy sparkling in the front of the ship. So that's the recipe I use for painting the, the energy effect on my drop fleet commander ships. Uh, as you have seen, it's an easy technique. Once you have the, the simplest grip of the use of the airbrush, it's not very complicated. Just to cover it uh, with the mesh and spray over it is not that hard. I don't consider myself an advanced airbrush user. I really have a very basic skills. But as you have seen in the results, it's not that hard to take advantage of the airbrush to this kind of effects. If you want to get a step up in, the, in your miniature painting, 
I really recommend you to use an airbrush. It has many advantages. Uh, I insist, I'm, I'm a really low skill user. I, I'm not a, a developer artist like some of my friends are, but I, I take advantage of the, air, the airbrush for applying base colors, for example, mainly when I have a lot of miniatures to paint, for example, in my, my Tower Empire, I had the troops and the battle suits and the tanks and everything, and I went crazy and I built them all. So I had a lot of things to paint, and with the airbrush I coded mm, at least the base color uh, very quickly, no? But also, this kind of effect, well, this is an easy effect, at least for me it is. There are some a little bit more complex, and you can do the energy glow of the plasma weapons, for example, and stuff like that. And it only takes a bit of practice to get a good grip on the use of the airbrush, so uh, it, it's a, a good thing to give it a try. Well, that's all for this video. If you find it useful, please like it and leave me a comment in the section below so I can see if I do more, more of these kind of videos in English. As you have seen, my channel is in Spanish because I'm Mexican, but if you find that the things that I explain here are useful to you, I can make more of my videos in English within time. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.